Welcome back to the Sheely Showcase. <clears throat> I am your host of the Moses, the Shaman of Sheely, Miss Katie Kinsey Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Joined with me, of course, my lovely co host, the Young Bucks Nation Sensation, the Fire Breathing, the Rhodes Family, and the Spice of Life, the Sassy Senior Rita that I know, the Hangman Adam Page, to my Adam Cole Bay Bay, Miss Y2 Garcia, Savan, na 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 How are you? Um, I'm doing pretty alright, considering before we even started recording, I just went on a whole ass rant. A whole ass I rant. I mean, maybe you should. I was gonna say, you joined the Twitch live before you might get some good rants but um if you don't want to get political don't watch this one <laughs> don't don't watch it <laughs> but or it you can just watch it, it and just stand and sit there like i did yeah yeah you could just watch you know you don't have to state your opinion i quite frankly unless unless you agree with me i don't care about your opinion but all right well on that on, on that on that part uh <clears throat> so a few things. One, do you all see my earrings? I have to point them out because I'm taking them off in a minute. Um, a little John I can't Cena. see that one. It's I a, li it's a little John one. Cena and a little Dwayne. The Rock Johnson. I'm literally taking them out now. Ow. Um, okay. I got yeah, them. They, they, those got away, like... Yeah, they're little... They're literally earlobes. little mini figures <laughs> on earrings. Um, I wonder... I wonder... Hold on, because... Hold on, I had these little figures from Dollar Tree that my my dad's fiance put yeah. on my birthday cake one year. Yeah, it's the it's, it's the exact same one. Yeah, it's the little ones. The I have I have store. one in the package uh, behind me. Oh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I I have the same ones. I can make my own earrings. We can match, Katie. You could. Uh, they're they hurt. <laughs> they're heavy. But I bet. I, I bought them on Sunday. Um, this, a thing called weird little earrings. And I had to. I saw them and I was like, I have to do this. Yeah. Um, oh. but How yeah. could you not? I will post pictures of the earrings on Twitter later, after the show. Um, it is also still September, even when this goes up. Uh, yeah. It is... Supre oh, the last day of September. The last day of September. When it goes up. When it goes up, yes ma'am. Um, obviously it is still Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Make sure everyone is staying up to date with their mental health. You gotta focus on yourself. You gotta get right. Hello, Jess. Get your Jess. Hi, Justin. Spooky season Spooky approaches. season is Spooky coming. season does approach, and that's what the question of the week is gonna be about. Spooky season. Um, so keep, everyone okay. keep that in mind. Um, but let's just, let's just jump right in. I don't really have much yeah. else to talk about. I'll do all the plugging of the stuffs at the end of the plugging. show. Yeah, we, we do the plugging at the end. We do the plugging at the end. Yeah, we do the plugging at the end. I, I, I switch it up sometimes. We'll see. But today, yeah. we'll do it at the end. Um, news and rumors, I literally do not have a lot. Um, one of them will result in a rant wow. because people are stupid. Um, first and foremost, okay. Robert Fish Sr. showed up in Impact at oh, whatever yeah. their pay-per-view was or something and I never laughed so hard in my life. I was like, the where I did think he, the memes like, were the he, best part. He went to the wrong home. He was trying to go to the nursing home. He ended up at the Impact Zone. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but Robert Fish Sr. <laughs> sir. And this was after reports of... said Super Robert, Bowl. I was like... Robert Fish Senior. I'm sorry. Let me let me specify that again. That's Bobby Fish. No, it's because no, yeah, I, I got that after you said Fish, but when you first said Robert, I was like, what the hell? I immediately thought, what happened with Robert Roode? <laughs> oh, I do, Bobby I do Roode have again? news about Robert Roode at the very end, actually. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. There, let's keep going. All right. Uh, Bobby Fish is so old. He was the first man in history to ever be called Bobby. <laughs> That's it's the memes. The memes are the best part about it. I know, or people are saying, like, Bobby Fish, so... <laughs> Something, uh, of course, they're making fun of his age. People are like, Bobby Fish is so old that, like, he was, like, a fish that Jesus, like, served to people. It's like, why? <laughs> I, I've seen it's so little... many. It's it's probably one of my favorite memes of all I've time. seen... 
I think the most, the most, like, I guess the concept involving Bobby Fish going to impact, the most memes I've seen of that is um, apparently him. I don't, obviously, it's probably, they're probably just fucking with him. Unless it's true, I don't know. That apparently he tried to go back to WWE and they just are. Well, he wanted no, he no, that wanted phone. to bring Cole and Kyle with him, and Cole and Kyle were yeah, just like, yeah, mm, I saw that. Apparently, is it no true thanks. or is it just people are messing with him? Honestly, it very well could be true. Um, but we'll talk about that. Like, well, Kyle Riley first needs to fix himself, all right? I'm like, fix your neck, bro, okay? Aliyah's injured. Is she actually? I don't oh, know if she Rick. actually was like, yeah, I know. Hi, Rick. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Take it easy. Did I say that right, Katie? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> wow. First and foremost. <laughs> how dare kidding. you? That was me. That was love. I'm just joking. Yeah, that was a thousand percent on you. I don't like the length of these sleeves. I know it was a thousand percent. Oh, Katie, Jesus. Katie cannot control me. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean that sometimes I just go... <laughs> That Katie, like, it's literally beyond Katie's control. Uh, right. she posted about it. Jesus, this is so small on here. Uh, shoulder injury. Wasn't my clients. Hello, hello. Uh, Savannah coming in. Fire today. Congratulations, you're coming in fire. That's why I wore the, that's why I wore the red today. <laughs> Not really. I just wanted to wear an AJ shirt. I was gonna try and, like, come up with something. Day. Nothing. There's... Nothing, <laughs> nothing is up here today. It's one of those days. Okay. You know? Yeah, uh, I have those days all the time. Literally. Jesus. Um, let's see, on Rampage, because we literally have missed, like, so much, it seems like. Rampage, uh, Grand Slam. Uh, the Great Muda appeared, and that was a thing that happened. <laughs> And got nothing. I see people are sending me clips. Like, look at how like less of a reaction this guy. I was like, yeah, it's because like, please, not guys. a lot of people know who that is. <laughs> like, please, guys, calm down. The small, tiny ass pop that they got. Also, rampage quote. I like how you said quote super showdown because let me tell you, it's not a super showdown. It's not even live. You couldn't even get that shit live. I said me, grand but... slam, not super showdown. Oh Neither yeah, whatever. Name out there. <laughs> Grand Slam, but still, it's not a Grand Slam show if you can't even get it live. You have the I two mean, t- it's you have a the Grand Slam slot show and- because they're they're fi- they filmed all of that in one day. It's a Grand Slam. The poor people who watched Dynamite, Rampage, Dark, Elevation, dude. These poor people were all like, I wanna, I wanna go. You could like, not from give me friends. I wanna go. Super Showdown, the it's, Saudi, it's the show. Saudi show, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I keep I forgetting about that one. I don't will they because now it's just Crown Jewel. They just do annual Crown Jewel. I don't think they do Super Showdown anymore. Did they do a Super Showdown last year or two years ago? Or was Super Showdown not obviously it wasn't last year, but Super Showdown was in Melbourne, Australia at one point. Maybe that's what I'm referring to. I remember. There's I too many know, man. shows. Regardless, and downs. <laughs> regardless, the Grey Muda appeared to a little no reaction, like Savannah said. D- did nothing. Sprayed some mist in Buddy Murphy's face, and that was that was boot it. Oh, but the the spot though that the Julia Hart spot. Oh, Fucking poor Julia. It. I saw that on Twitter too. Yeah, she said she was okay, but Jesus that, Christ, that's good. But she, she like smacked not- her skull she off of the cement. It's terrible. Uh, oh, thanks, Jesus, for clearing that up. Oh, the actual, oh, the first was in Melbourne. The, oh, gross. See, I knew something about Melbourne was thrown in there. Love Australia. Love Australians. Really roughly. You roughly. know what would be cool is that they made Super Showdown like, oh, like a once a year thing, but like change the location to something completely different. So like. One year it'll be in Japan, the next year it'll be in France, Germany, you know, switch it up, you know? Like, have it in a different country every year. France? Parlez-vous français? Um, I mean, I've taken the class, so I know just Bitch, that's little. literally all I know how to say. That I and je to... t'aime. That's literally all I got. <laughs> no, I've learned, I've learned, I'm actually learning, like, conjugations of like verbs i'm like wow look at me i took spanish for 10 years i didn't yeah. touch french um 
Well, that's well. Here's the thing. This is what makes it confusing because some of it is very similar to Spanish, but then some of it is very different from Spanish. So you got to try and remember, like, okay, this is Spanish, this is French, and a lot of the times I've caught myself like saying shit in Spanish. Like I say, like when they're like, um, "How are you?" I say, I, I accidentally say, "Como está?" And I'm like, "Oh wait, that's not it." Or I say, "Hola," and I'm like, "Wait, this is the class." Hola, como está? Exactly. I know how to say French fries. Good job. <laughs> uh, and French toast. Thank God. Also on anyway, Rampage yeah. Grand Slam, uh, Christian returned after his shoulder surgery. He didn't. I thought he was going to be out for nine months. He, well, he didn't, like, wrestle or anything. He came out. Oh. And then Evil Barney, Luchasaurus, <laughs> just be the shit out of Jungle Boy, of course. Cause... Dude, poor Jungle Boy. Yeah, that's kind of brave, man. Nah. Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Let's put some respect on the name. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, let's get to let's get to one fun thing. Um, on Monday Night Raw, the Poison Pixie Candice yes. LeRae showed up out of Mama Candice. I was yeah shocked. I was I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was the way I gasped, I was like, <gasps> the like, way I like, gasped, literally. the way I started crying, little tears, I was like, a little bit of tears, because I was like, Mama wrestling. She's here. Mama Candice is back. She's just probably going to be in the war games. Please and thank you. Like, please, Triple H, Papa well, H. It's got, it's got to be. Because think yeah. about it this why way. Would you, why else would you bring her back before well, then? I mean, bring her back because she's fantastic. But think about it this way. You have Bianca, Bliss, Asuka, Candice. Boom. Four. One side. Then you have damage control, so... Bailey, Sky, Sky, Kai, Kai, Bailey. You just need one more person. And then we have female war games. Personally, I think it'd be cool. It wouldn't happen. But uh, Tegan Knox comes back as a heel. That would be cool. It's not going to happen, but like I can dream. I can all dream. Uh, the fact that she debuted in Canada, like Johnny, her music played, and I recognized it, but it took me a little bit to realize it was Candace, which also happened with Johnny. Yeah, that was cool, too, that they both, uh, made their main roster debuts. Well, this is Johnny's second time really being on the main roster, but same thing. Um, <laughs> it is cool they both debuted in ca- different parts of Canada. Yeah. And then, when she debuted, everyone started being like, Who's watching the baby? I literally had to respond to somebody and be like, well, depending on how old the baby, the kid is, nine times out of ten, the kid comes on the road with them, and while the one parent is out in the ring, the other parent is backstage watching said child, or it's just Candace's or Johnny's parents. I gotta say, there's the grandparents. Also, why are people, like, unless I just missed it, but I'm like, when Becky and Seth, all the times they've been in the ring, has no one questioned, like, where's the baby? Yeah, especially like, when they're both out there. Like, y'all y'all need to relax. Yeah, Can't or wait maybe... For Quill to debut next. I think we got a long yeah. time for Quill. Uh, yeah, he can go up against negative one. Make it happen. Well, but, um, Quill, Quill and uh, Ro could be a uh, tag team. There you go. I love that. I'm in. Good, good Book idea. It. Book it. Someone, yes. Someone write it up. But um, what I was gonna say um before, um oh, it was about Seth and Becky. Oh, like um I don't think people realize that the locker room is pretty tight in the WWE. Everyone knows everyone. They're all friends. They're like a family. I'm pretty sure someone's willing. Like, okay, I'll watch the kid while you go out and, you know, do your match. Okay, <laughs> go out. I'll I'll watch Quill. The babies sure. division coming soon to WWE. <laughs> hey, we have well, like, well, because if it's Bree, then well, I guess yeah. Well, WWE, we there can be Birdie, Monroe, Madison, Quill. I'm trying to think. Rue. I can't think um, of. I can't think of Nikki's kid's name. Mateo, because I call him Teo. And then Bree had another kid. Buddy. 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 And then, I know this isn't really WWE, but so I'm just doing wrestling babies. Um, Nora, which is Moxley and Renee's baby. Um, hey Roman's got, like, her. five kids. Some yeah, of them hang- have two babies. <laughs> baby Hangman, Baby Page, Baby Hangman Page, Lil Hangy. Um, 
<laughs> and then um, Alex Reynolds, his child is apparently kid, yeah. five days apart. His child is five days apart from Hangman's because oh, Hangman said it on Instagram. Yeah, so I'm like, look at all, look at, we got a little roster going. We literally, uh, I mean, Rhonda's kid. Yeah. Well, with, whatever with, the kid's whatever, name, I'm, I'm not, not even going to try. Not, I'm not touch it. Not even Dude, gonna Elon it. Musk's kid's name is probably easier to pronounce than her kid, oh, but neither here nor there. Uh, I mean. Yeah, but congrats to so Candace. Many- I'm happy he's, she's on the main roster and hopefully gets utilized well. And I just need some better reactions from the crowd. Like, I get it. I know, right? But y'all need to, like, step up your game. Thanks. Right? Especially for Candace. Hi, Matt. Matt. <laughs> um, so, can the title of the show be, instead of Babies Are Us, Babies Are Us? Like, <laughs> say less. <laughs> yes! Thank you. Babies, Babies are, are wrestling. Wrestling. With zero maybe context, I... that's gonna be great. <laughs> Unless something, unless we get like another title throughout this. Yeah, unless, but that a good a good placeholder. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. What is this fucking family? (laughs) Like family (laughs) feud. (laughs) Yeah. Good answer. All right. Uh, Should I save the rant for last or do it now? Last. That way we could just quickly go on to the next thing. Um. Tony D'Angelo, my guy, was injured. Obviously, they filmed last week and or this week and last week together, but I wanted to wait until it actually happened to say it. Um, it looks like it was his knee that kind of buckled. The X, the X was thrown up during the match, um, which is why Wesley is in that ladder match for the NA title. Oh, God, excuse me. Um, so, like, there hasn't been, like, an official word yet from yeah. that. Also, they said since one of the members of Gallus punched a referee that they're suspended indefinitely. So we'll see how long that lasts because people don't listen to suspensions. Ronda Ronda Rousey can, I was going to say, Ronda Rousey can beat up whoever the fuck she wants, including Adam Pierce, and still be not suspended. But, I mean, I guess the ref is just a bystander. Leave the guy alone. He's just here to count. They were just trying to break up the brawl at the end, but yeah, that's all they're doing. Poor refs. Also, a uh, small shout out to Baby Steiner for referencing and utilizing Steiner math during his. Uh, it, bro, I was like, "There's no way he's gonna say it," because we knew it was gonna be a triple threat. I was like, "There's no shot." Yeah. And then he yeah. said it sounded exactly like Scott. It was weird, <laughs> but it was perfect because everyone knew eventually that was gonna come up in some capacity. So the fact that he said, you know what, I'm going to do it on my terms, my way, and not do the whole thing, because the whole thing's a mess, but just do the first little part and leave it at that. Good job. Braun Breaker, Baby's Diner. Um, and so I just saw it on Instagram before I left work. Actually, no, I think it was like when I got home. Uh, Bobby Roode just had a successful surgery. I don't know on what. But that's why Bobby Roode's been gone. He was wait, injured. Wait, say that again? Bobby Roode. Sorry, my mom's texting. Well, yeah, Bobby Roode. Just had successful surgery. I don't know on what. But okay. that explains I'm where glad, he I'm is. I'm glad was a success. I'm glad he was a success, but... Yeah, it didn't, it didn't say on right. what. So, um, I know on Young Kings a few weeks ago, they were talking about Bobby Roode. That's where he's been. Reek and TC. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I just saw it. It didn't even say, like, what he had done. Like, he made, like, an Instagram post. And, like, obviously he was in Alabama for Birmingham, because that's where all the people go, as they should. But I'm just gonna... I was gonna say, there's a trusted individual that, you know, has performed many... Who has the experience, if you will, with the wrestlers. I mean, might as well just send up there. Does he really have... I I, I, I was gonna say, everyone went to Alabama... Dean Ambrose went to Alabama. Seth Rollins went to Alabama. Ben Balor went to Alabama. They all went Everybody to Alabama. Everybody went to Alabama. Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, it just says, heading home after what is hoped to be a successful trip to Birmingham. Big thank you to all the doctors uh, for taking good care of me this week, especially to the first class medical staff of Dr. Michael something I can't pronounce. Dr. Andrew something and Dr. Charles. But let me look at the pictures again. I'm assuming... Was it something in his neck? 
Oh my god. Dude. I, I, can't, I can't tell from the pictures though, but he has like two band-aids like right here. It has to be, it has to be like. But like, that's uh, it. That's like the only thing that like you can really see. I was gonna say, camera don't think it could be a spine, unless it's like this area of the spine, not like the back of the spine. I yeah, don't know. I checked, Usually story, when I, think I checked his story too, and there was nothing, so god damn it. <laughs> But yeah, Robert, he, he... you can't just drop this on us and not tell us what happened. At least it was hopefully successful, like he said, so... Yeah, well, at least we know where he's been now. It, yeah, like, what happened to that boy? Uh, he got injured and <laughs> had he had surgery. That's what happened to that boy. It was not... It was not <laughs> glorious. Damn. That's fucked. <laughs> Too soon. I mean, Too he has soon. a successful surgery. He just has surgery, like... It's not... <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Penis enlargement surgery. No, I don't think it was that, Matt. <laughs> Probably not. How um, rude. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the thing that's gonna make me the most mad. Ooh, okay, I'll sit back. Malachi Black. Oh boy, he yeah. He went on Instagram Live this week. Um, I, was, I, did, I, I didn't it. watch it because I was currently in the process of watching the latest Young Kings episode, and... I didn't know, like, what the video, like, his Instagram was going to be. So I was just like, I'll just let it slide. And then I saw it on Twitter. I kind of, I kind of, like, I, I'm not going to say, oh, I knew it. But, like, I just, I kind of, I had, I just had a feeling, like, it can't be good. I don't know why this dude would go live when Randomly. he's trying to step away. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, when he's, when he's in the process of trying to step away to focus on himself. Exactly. Like, yeah, so on. last week, if you do not, y'all don't remember, uh, I talked about how, he wasn't happy that his mental health was brought up and dirt sheets were talking about it and how they don't know anything. Well, boy, oh boy, did he fucking lay into people this week on Instagram. Um, he said, I am not released. So he's not released from his AW contract like everyone is speculating. He put that in quotes and he even explained like what a quotation means in a sentence. And I was like, damn, get on. Ma teacher Malachi came into the live and just schooled everyone. I he was did. like, wow. He said he'll be back in AEW soon once he, again, figures out himself. As he should be able to freely do. Like, poor guy. I and then he proceeded to shit on dirt sheets, which was probably my favorite part about this. Um, basically saying they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. They're not a part of this business. They think they're part of this business, and they're not. And they try to do, and they try to do things just to like you know get them the get views clicks. or the clicks or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And he, which is true, he's said, not wrong. That's a thousand percent true. He said how they don't care about his mental health and any of our mental health, and I was like, ooh, true facts. Um, not us. We care about mental health, y'all. Sheila Showcase, Obviously. we care about your mental health. I was gonna say, look at look at the numbers. Look, the numbers look at the things. Look the at the things. Crisis text line and the suicide. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sean Ross Sapp was being a weird little bitch about the whole thing. Oh yeah, he was. I didn't. I didn't see it, but like, then he, again, like he's been he kind of like. He started tweeting. He was like, "Oh, but I won't talk about how I asked about your mental health." Like he started. He started just tweeting some random shit that nobody cared about. And ain't nobody have a flying fuck about Sean Ross Sapp, Dave Meltzer. No, we don't care about them. At all. I was gonna say, um, Sean Ross seems to be the one who, kind of like the Tony Khan, but of the dirt sheets. He always has to say something when someone has to criticize him. Like, yeah. you don't have to, you know? It's like, you're, like, talking, you don't you're to. talking a big talk, but you're not gonna back it up. Or no one's gonna listen. <laughs> yeah, ain't, or no one's gonna fucking care. Like, so... Went off on the dirt sheets, and then can we can we knock out the sirens? Thank you. Um, and then the uh, last thing that like the last like main point of his Instagram live that I've seen, um, him and Zelina have been receiving death threats over this tribalism shit. Which first and foremost, if you're yeah. sending death threats to a wrestler, you have no life. You have you are scum. You clearly do not like yourself at all to be doing that to somebody else. Um, this whole AEW versus WWE shit is so played out. The companies are allowed to do it. They're fine. That's healthy competition. The fans needed to knock it off. Because we don't care. I don't care. You can like one. You can like the other. You can like both. You can hate both. I don't care. 
do whatever you want to do. I know. But the fact yeah. that you're sending death threats to people who are just trying to mind their business and live their life right now after Malachi literally explained everything, not in detail, as he doesn't need to, about what is happening in both their lives, about, like, personal tragedies, tragedies within their families, and then you're going to go and send them death threats. Because you want People Malachi to go to threats. WWE. Because you want Zelina to go to AEW. You all need to fucking relax. People who send death threats are honestly a bunch of bitches. Let me tell you, would you say that to his face? I bet if you did, your ass would be knocked, okay? Like, to the yeah. floor. Facts. And your bitch ass would be bleeding everywhere. You would not say it to his face. And if you did, I hope you enjoy your stay in hell because you'd be fucking dead. This dude would kick you in the face so hard, you'd go into a coma and fucking die. Because I unplug... I will personally unplug All right, my, no, no, no. Already char- what? <laughs> my already charged cell phone. All right? I don't know where you're going with that. I got scared. I had to cut no, you off before I started saying some out of pocket yeah, shit. Yeah, don't, no, <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Jeez. Um, but, yeah. Basically, leave him alone. Leave Zelina alone. Leave any, like, listen. Wrestlers are not our friends. They are not our family. We are fans. Yes, they will communicate with us in some way shape or form every once in a while give us a little shout out here and there talk to us that's fine that's more than they need to do but when you start thinking you are a part of their lives or thinking you are so high and mighty and so proud of yourself and know what you're talking about that you need to send them death threats you seriously and i mean this with all of my heart and soul you seriously need to go get help like, because you are that delusional that you think you are a part of this person's life. I know... Or you have that, you have that much of an effect on that person's life that you can just send... You're just, you're just a screen wish. name, an icon, and a pic, like, or a picture to them. Nine times out of ten. A lot of, a lot of these, a lot of those fuckers don't even have a picture. They don't have anything on their profile. They picture. have, like, like you, pictures you of see, like, wrestlers. show your face. They have, like, yeah. fan um, like, accounts. show yourself. It's the whole thing just irritates me to my core, and the the fact that Malachi just seems like the most down to earth, chill dude, and he probably is. Like I, I, I would I would probably love just to meet vibing. him and just talk to him about tattoos and music and whatever and just vibe. But the fact that he had to go out of his way, make this after people clearly didn't listen or I'm sorry read his last post, he had to go out on live and school all of you. And tell you enough is enough. Y'all shut the fuck up. Do better. Everyone do better. Alright? Wise words from Auntie Katie. Do better. Wise up and shut up. Dude, that should be a shirt. Wise up and shut up. I gotta start thinking of more merch for the show. For the shop. Anyways. <laughs> that might be one. Eventually. We'll see. Um, <laughs> did you. After. We got all that out of the way. Uh, did you have anything <laughs> you'd like to add? No. Usually it's AEW stuff, but again, I have not been watching. So There also really hasn't been, no. like, real big news. Much. In no. the dub. Um, just, this isn't this isn't news, but have you seen that video going around of Tony Khan and Bandito? Like, after, I did. after the match? Like, dude, like, carried Tony like he was a child. I'm like, well, oh, he is a child. I mean, so. yeah, Tony is a child. It's kind of fitting. Uh, Rumble tickets he went was, on sale. Like he... Yes, they did. Oh, there I'm you go. Go get your Royal Rumble tickets. <laughs> you don't want to come to Texas. Just kidding. You do. No. Well, Texas, Texas is beautiful, but it's a risk, all right? Like, Sven, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to come to Texas. <laughs> Love you, you but no, I'm not trying to Texas. Texas. Oh, Jesus got his tickets. But, um, there you go. Uh... So, yeah, just uh, the video, and people were like, because apparently he was saying, like, oh, like, stay for Rampage or something, but, like, he said it so loud and, like, un, like, didn't enunciate anything that was so unclear with how he said it. People were literally saying, what the hell did he just that's, say? Like, that's any time he gets on the mic and talks to people, because he shouldn't be doing well, that. <laughs> he was like, jibber, 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 Rampage! I'm like, okay... Yeah, it's because he just did eight lines in the back before he came out. Like, come on. 
<laughs> he probably did like a last minute one. He's running out like rushed it. Like <laughs> Tony said, "Mio hoy, mio hoy, <laughs> Basically, basically, yeah. that's what it was. God damn it. Um, I mean, yeah, no, no, no news from me. I will just no say rumors. a special little shout out to William Regal for constantly flirting with Excalibur. It is my favorite thing. I shit you not on AEW television. He called him a rice crispy treat this week and said he could <laughs> snap, Dude. crackle, and pop him however he wanted and called him sweetheart. I was losing my mind. Dude, I'm like, aw. Mr. Daddy and Mr. Man in the Mask. I know. Yeah, I, I was wait. gonna say our, like, our two dads. You know, dads, Regal, and Excalibur. It's, it's literally my favorite Yay. favorite thing. I, I want, yes, your favorite I, want that ki- I want that kind of energy in my life. I'm gonna need it. Somebody. Well, I don't care, I don't care if you're a friend, Regal, just put... whatever. I want that. Willie Regal. He's so cool. I like Willie I love Willie Regal. Regal. What a guy. Yeah. What a gem. What a peach. Um, exactly. What a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> no, Excalibur is Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> I can't. I, oh, God. All right. Uh, today in women's wrestling history, um, I, again, struggled to find anything, but Impact from 2020, so, you know, nice COVID, COVID so impact. Um, we had Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie defeating the team of Havoc and Navia. And then we had Jordan Grace, who is the current Knockouts Women's Champion, uh, defeating Tennille Dashwood, a.k.a. Emma. But, I mean, very good talent in amongst those names I said. I love Rosemary. She's so cool. She's probably, out of those yeah. people, probably my favorite person. Tennille's good. but And Jordan Grace is good. But, like, Rosemary's cool. She's like, I like I like the off the wall characters. I like the people who are stand out and they're different. She was a fucking like zombie hunter. Mm-hmm. Or she was like a demon hunter. It was great. Yeah. I like found myself watching clips like with everything with her and the bunny and trying to get Allie's soul and it was the coolest shit to me. It was so entertaining. So I highly recommend anyone check anything out with Rosemary. It's very good. Um but now we are on to the Wesslers of the week, and I just had to yes, look. I went, I went first last time. I know, yeah, I just looked, because I was like, I don't remember. Um, I actually only have one for each this week. I struggled a little bit. Uh, but my tag team, I gotta go Panda Express, Johnny Gargano, and <laughs> Kevin Owens. It's, that's what I wanted. If I couldn't get Johnny and Ciampa and Sammy and KO, I will gladly take Johnny and Kevin. The chemistry, yeah. the, I mean, everything they did in, like, PWG, and Johnny was a guest on the Kevin Steen show back in the day, which, those are so fun to go back and watch. It's just everything about them together works. And if they're, like, gonna be, like, a legit tag team, that adds so much more to this tag division. Because, let's be real, tag division's slacking, especially with Usos holding the titles, which those need to get split very soon. But that's... Oh, for sure. That's just my opinion. Uh, hashtag Gargano Owens. Gargano wins. There we go. There we yeah, go. Got it, got, got it the second time. Uh, but yeah, that's my tag team. The best tag team. Um, yeah. I have a feeling, because now it's my turn. I have a feeling um, most of, if not maybe all of our picks might be the same. I'm kind of curious. My tag team. My tag team is also Panda Express. Whoa. Tony Gargano and Kevin Owens. Shout out. Because, again, the chemistry was good. You know, we were already excited to see them. Like, just the announcement that they're going to team up was already exciting. Mm-hmm. And the match absolutely delivered. Good match. Facts. Great chemistry. I would love to see them take one of the titles. So, I guess I take it the, well, the Raw tag team title away from the Usos. Let Ooh. them make, let it happen, okay? Like, let, make it happen. Like, just please and thank you. Great tag team. Want to see, I want more. Triple H, give me what I want. Put the title on them. So yeah, they're my tag team of the week. 
I would also just like to give a special little shout out to Chad Gable for being just so good in the ring, out of the ring, everything with Theory after the fact where Braun called Theory, which like that was weird, and basically told Gable that he has a match with him next week, which like, okay, but Chad's face after Braun said that was just, he really is like a young Kurt Angle. Basically. Like, if if Jason Jordan wasn't Kurt Angle's son, it would have been Chad Gable. <laughs> Let's Maybe it should have been Chad Gable, I think. Well, we don't know what could have happened if JJ, Jason Jordan, didn't get hurt and break his neck. No, but I mean from the beginning, you know, like, before the injuries, before everything. I when, mean, like, he first announced that he had a son, and I was like, huh? Well, I think, I think one of the reasons they didn't choose Gable is because it was so on the nose. That's and they were true. like, let's throw a little twist in here. Let's throw a little chocolate twist <laughs> and then, in this. And, and, of co- and of course the of course the memes were absolutely hilarious. People the, were like, oh my god, Adam the Cole's memes Michael Cole's son. The part about the, almost everything in Twitter. Basically, memes. yeah. Memes is life. Um, but w- to my woman's, we already brought her up. Poison Pixie. Yeah. Won her match. And she's facing off against yeah. Dakota next week, which that match is going to bang. It's Candice LeRae. Mama Candice. Mama Wrestling. Candice Wrestling. Whatever you want to call her. I was just so happy she's back. She s- looks incredible in every sense of the word. Yeah. Um, Now that she's on the main roster and Rhea's on the main roster... I'm just hoping that helps push my narrative of intergender wrestling, for the love of God. Candace and Johnny mm-hmm. can team up against Becky and Seth once Becky comes back. It all makes and sense. Dom. Re- Re- and Damien. Fuck. fuck I, I know, I know. I just wanted to see your reaction. I just... <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be, it would definitely be Damien and... Rhea's powerhouses. Dom will be on the yeah. leash coming down with Rhea. Couples MMC. Hell yeah. Or just there bring back go. the mix match challenge in general. Cause that but was let so it be fun. Inter- but let it be intergender this time. Well, yes. Very much so. Very much so let it be intergender. But fuck yeah. Candice Lorraine. It's my pick. Well guess what? She's also my pick. Again oh. she's back. <laughs> We were, uh, the excitement in my freaking, like, again, the way I gasped, I, like, gasped every single breath of air out of my freaking asthmatic lungs when I sure heard Candace's that. music. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. It was, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to. It was Candace's fault. She, Don't her blame her. Made, her return made me do that. That's how much I was happy for her to be back. Um, again, she won the match. She's going to face Dakota next week. The match is going to slap. And, again, like we said, most likely she, the reason why they brought her back before war games because she's gonna be in the war games match so. i hope so fingers crossed pop a she was on the okay. she her and Rhea were the first two winners of the first war games because dakota turned on tegan at air force there we go jesus <laughs> i think i said <laughs> jesus <laughs> <laughs> Ergo, taking Tegan out of the match, and then Dakota left. So it was literally the two of them winning for their game. Yeah. Which um, snaps. Yeah, and so yeah, make it happen, please. She, but yeah, Candice is my... Candice, Mama Wrestling, Mama Candice, Poison Pixie, whatever you want to call her. All the above. She's back. Yeah. All the above. She's back. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Glad she's on the main roster. Me too. You know, glad it's under Triple H because let me tell you, I'm, I don't think under anyone else they would know how to treat such a gem like Candice, all right? True, 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 true. So, Candice is my pick as well. Uh, and my male. Now, I gotta say, he really had me going on uh, Friday night. Uh, had me all up in my feels. Almost cried for this man. And then... Goes on to put on a banger of a match with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Ah. Savannah well, shirt. Sure. Um, I'm going with the honorary Oos, Sammy fucking Zayn. Yeah. He, it's the way that B- Sammy being added into the Bloodline story 
made it so much better. It added another layer. It added to Jay's PTSD level another three notches. Anytime Sammy does anything with Roman, Jay's just in the back buttered about it. <laughs> now it should have been me. That's that's, that's literally process. Jay. That's Jay. Um, <laughs> but it's the fact that now Solo's there and Solo has Sammy's back. And Sammy has Solo's back, and Jimmy loves Sammy, and Roman loves Sammy. Jay's the only one who's. Jay and. I hate to say it. Maybe Paul. Pardon my friend, but, but like being a, a little bitch of it. With Sammy, yeah. I think. But yeah, Jay's the only one who really can't stand Sammy. And I was talking um, on Gitcho last night with Joss and uh, Tiffany that if Bloodlines in the War Games, which they should be. You have Jay, like, not be in it. So you have Jimmy, Solo, Roman, Sammy. And then... Oh, that would boil his blood. Exactly. And then that leads to the Usos losing the titles because Jay's like, enough is enough. I'm done with this. I'm done with all of you. We're cutting ties. And it leads to what I want and what other people want. Um, We get main event Jay Uso back. Just for a little bit. Even if for, like, a runner kick. Yeah, just, That's just fine. a little smidge. Um, win the Rumble. Take a belt off Roman Night 1. Dwayne takes a belt off Roman Night 2. Imagine. Imagine people losing their minds over this. Dude. Imagine. Dude, though, that means Roman's getting it done dirty at Mania. But well, I guess he so should lose for... both titles anyways at Mania. Yes. Yes. But especially for all the times this dude's main event at WrestleMania. I swear. WrestleMania 31, 32, 30, 33, 34. See this guy right here, guys, if you're watching the video? He's going to take the belt off Roman if he shows, if his bitch ass shows up at Mania. Did he main event 30? No, he didn't because he was in at 36. That was the COVID year. So 37 and 38. All the 30s have been mostly Roman Reigns, with the exception I mean, of the triple threat in uh, 35 yeah. and 36 because of COVID. Those yeah. are the only two, right? 31 and 30, because that was, you know, Batista, Triple H, and Daniel Bryan. But um, so through all the 30s of the manias, Roman has been invented one, two, three, four, seven, and eight. I mean, not surprising, though, because Roman has been on a tear and has been that main event player for a long time. But not, like, in 31. It's just because he won the Royal Rumble, and literally no one was happy about it. Well, yeah, that yeah, that was the time. Um, but, but Between... Sorry, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, between Mania 31 and Mania 34, those are the... They, it was completely like, like no one wanted it. Like mm-hmm. no one, everyone was sick of Roman. No one liked him, whether he was face or heel. He wasn't even heel. He hadn't turned heel. Yeah, he didn't turn heel yet. Yeah, like everyone absolutely hated him, and so they were just shoving him down our throats. And so, but now I believe the main event star that everyone loves that started at Mania Thirty Seven. So, Honestly, I, it's all a blur to me, but um. What I was gonna say was bring it back to Sammy. Yes, the honorary use. Honorary use. It's like everything that happened on SmackDown was genius. Having his match with AJ, which was really good. Like, because really like you always forget that people or people always forget that Sammy's a really good wrestler. He when is. He gets to showcase it. I mean, just look at everything he did in NXT. Like, babyface, pure babyface Sami Zayn was incredible. Underdog from the underground Sami Zayn. Yeah. That Sami Zayn was... Well, he still is incredible, but that's when we really got to see it. Yeah. Like, so go back... If you need... If you need... I was gonna say, if you need proof, just go back to when Sami Zayn answered John Cena's United States Open Challenge. Holy and shit, that was probably... And fucked up his shoulder. They're in, yeah, before was... the match even started. <laughs> yeah, that was... However, that was the best open challenge from John Cena. Like, challenger to John Cena, in my opinion. That was the best one. Sami Zayn takes the cake for me. I mean, yeah, that one was definitely incredible. Um, yeah, big, big shout-out to the honorary of Sami Zayn. My pick. Yes. 
Well, guess what? Oh my <laughs> one, God. I have two. I have two picks, but one of them is, in fact, we talked about it on SmackDown and Raw. On like because of SmackDown and again his match on Raw that he won. Honorary Ooze, Sami Zayn. Oh my God, I love this guy so much. I'm so glad. Again, just we were talking about it on SmackDown and Raw. Like the pure joy in this guy's face when he got the T-shirt. Like mm-hmm. not even like not even a kid on Christmas has experienced as much joy as Sami Zayn when he got that on a reused shirt, okay? Like, that was like like a Make-A-Wish kid, all right? Like, so happy and joyful that for something that was given to him, something that happened to him, and I, it just made me so happy. It made me feel all warm inside. It was so wholesome. You know, you everyone's like, you know, people who don't like Roman Reigns because he's so mean and stuff. He's a heel. He's a bad guy. I'm like, no, he's not. Look at He's making kids' dreams come true, a.k.a. Sami Zayn. <laughs> So, again, and then he had a match on Raw, and I really like your idea. I don't know if it was your idea specifically, like the whole the whole War Games, not including Jey Uso, and then going on. That sounds great. I hope Sami Zayn can kind of slither his way around there and get some gold himself, because this dude needs some, other than the Intercontinental Championship, like, conspiracy crap, like, an actual title run, please. Give him a legit, like, good-ass title run. Please and thank you. Matt wants you to say something again, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> say what again? I don't but know yeah, when. He, I don't know what well, when he was talking okay, about. Okay, well, while he's while he's while he's answering that, let me say um, my second pick. Um, he also won his match on Monday. Um, Seth freaking Rollins. He is honestly like one of the best wrestlers anywhere today. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I really think he needs some gold. Give him a championship, please. I know he doesn't need it. He's really someone who absolutely does not need a belt to be a big top name. He's proven it many times, but it would be nice to see. I know, again, he's been crawling and chasing that Universal Championship for so long. Just give it back to him, please, Triple H. Or before I have to say, give me what I want. Um, on Smackdown at Raw. <laughs> Yeah. It, Matt just likes his ego being fed, and then he yells at me when uh, I do it, so, okay. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, so on Smackin' It Raw, we were talking about that too, how <laughs> Seth Rollins has chased after chased after the Universal title for a while. Might as well just give it to him again. He's, he's so over with the crowd, despite being a heel. The crowd absolutely loves him when the crowd is really not supposed to like the heels. But everyone loves Seth Rollins, and mm-hmm. I don't blame them. He's really cool. I love the guy. I love Seth so, Rollins. Yeah. The cackle, the fits, the choir yes. director. Yes, yes. And all of that. It's great. All of that. Just cute. Big fan. And. Because you. So okay. there you. We're not talking about We're not talking about it. So, so, yeah. Two picks. Honorary Sammy Zayn and Seth freaking Rollins. The hell yeah. My two picks. The hell yeah. And now we're on to the question of the week. Um, yes. Like I said before, it is. Uh, it's beginning a spooky season. Yes, it is. My favorite season. Ugh, I love spooky season. Um, I a thousand percent took this question from Bosch, Boss, and Chair Shots, the episode they did with Matt, um, the horror movies and waffles. I a thousand percent took it from there, because I got, I've been struggling with questions, so big shout out to Will and Matt for doing that episode, because it gave me inspiration to do this. It's your, it's your idea. Um, so it's gonna, we're basically just taking horror movie characters, not a lot, only a few, and like a thief. I'm giving credit. I'm giving credit. <laughs> um, She's citing our sources. It's not plagiarism. Plagiarism. I'm sorry. It's not what. <laughs> I said plagiarism. I just messed it up. <laughs> I know. I wanted you to mess it up again. That's why. I said. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. So we're just gonna see what wrestlers would be these horror movie characters. Okay. Scallywag. Okay, thanks, Matt. Um, so it can just be whether you think it's based off appearance, character, just overall vibe. The vibe. I was gonna say the vibe. Like the vibe. You just give up that Jason vibe. Well, oh my God, crazy! You said Jason because we're starting with Jason Voorhees. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, oh god. See, I don't even have any answers because I didn't. Well, Jesus think. said Undertaker. Hold on, I, I need a picture to like compare. Like well, I know I, what he looks like, but Undertaker, I know what he looks like. Undertaker but just, like, would probably 
be more Michael, which I do yeah, have I on love here. So too. Yeah, I just want to hunt. <laughs> oh, Matt's gonna tell. Kane is Jason. Mm. I can see Kane. I can see Kane. Like, are we talking? <laughs> I'm just being fucking dumb, but are we talking like, like Demon Kane or like Director of Operations Kane? <laughs> Bitch, corporate Kane. Which one do you think? <laughs> I don't know, man. Have you seen the way he's run his Knoxville, Tennessee, or whatever the fuck? It kind of relates to this, Jason. Okay. Smiles. Anyways. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. Kane is Jason. Yes. Kane, Jason. Boom. Go team. Boom, Good. shakalaka. Good job, everybody. Um, next up, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Hmm. I mean, you could go based off of, like, you could again. I don't know you if could, I want to go. You could, off looks you could or say vibe Alexa or... Bliss because she's done Freddy cosplay before. Like she did it, like throughout like their almost their entire heel run as her Murphy and Blake. Yeah, I'm not putting Ric Flair. I know your reasoning behind <laughs> it. I'm not putting Ric Flair. <laughs> Uh, not on this list. <laughs> I'm trying to see like not so much looks. I want to. I think this one I'm trying to go for more like the vibe. Uh, Jesus says the fiend. I was thinking that too, but I wasn't sure because the fiend wears a mask. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's just trying to fight Jesus. <laughs> you can't fight Jesus. I mean, you can. I was gonna say I was gonna say he died for our sins, but that was Adam. That was Adam Cole. That was that was yeah. a while ago. Um, <laughs> I mean. Vince McMahon. <laughs> the Boogeyman. Are we just naming people now? <laughs> yeah. Um, or Funhouse oh. Bray because of the Funhouse match with Cena. Hmm. I think the Boogeyman also could work. Just mostly because of the face. <laughs> I just saw a picture yeah. of him the other day. I think that's why it popped in my head. It's been a while. I hear children screaming outside. Go away. Um, I mean, th- we can, we can put the fiend for now and come back to it. Sure. We'll put Place the fiend holder. for now and we can come back to it. Placeholder. Placeholder. Um, next we're going to do Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> God. Becky Lynch. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the hair. The hair. <laughs> Funnily enough, I was gonna say Seth Rollins because of the laugh, but <laughs> the head because of the <laughs> oh my god, because of the cackle. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, so... <laughs> oh, Matt, I want to answer your comment, but I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I already argued with you on Friday, right? It was Friday or Saturday? That Friday. was Friday. That was Friday night. Yes. Hornswoggle. I, I mean, if we're going height, definitely Hornswoggle. Candice LeRae. But you could have Candace be Tiffany, who I have on here. Ooh, actually, I think save Candace for Tiffany. You can't argue with me. You will lose. What if we do... Okay, so what if we do... Seth is Chucky. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Okay. I'm gonna say it, but that's only if that's only if he's on the list, though. Who? Well, who else is on the list? I'll say it only if he's on the list. Um, I have Chucky, Michael, Tiffany, and Pennywise. Oh, okay, so he's on there. CM Punk is Pennywise because he's a clown. Oh my god. Okay. On the list. Okay, so Chucky is Seth. CM Punk is the Ant- CM Punk is the Antonio Brown of wrestling. There, I said it. It's fact, not opinion. But what were you saying, Katie? I- Sorry, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm, just, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let these sirens pass because God, Jesus, hello. I we don't done? hear them, but they're loud as hell in my room. Are we done. It's almost okay, like guys. the dogs barking with me. Like you hear them, but <laughs> nobody else can hear them. But just <laughs> just commentary for people. Um, so I say Chucky is <laughs> Seth, 
and Tiffany is Candace. Yeah. Yes, and I agree. I right. definitely agree with that. <laughs> Sorry, Seth. I don't think you're... Well, you are a doll, but not that kind of doll. <laughs> oh, Jesus said he could actually hear them. See? Oh, okay. Jesus got super here. I guess because he's will, Jesus, he's will, everywhere. We will. We will. Um, alright, so then we just have Michael, who we kind of already decided is Undertaker. Yeah, it, it, it's all, it only makes sense. Well, because he's, he's the dead man. Michael never dies. Really. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll Halloween, see. Halloween we'll ends see. comes out in like two weeks. I'm so excited. We'll see. I'm so we'll excited. See. I'm going to see it that Saturday. after, Like the Friday. Oh, really? So the Saturday after it comes out. So excited. Undertaker. Pennywise is an icon. CM Punk is too. The Elite doesn't even make the list. <sighs> you They're not clowns. Or a joke. You two can fight about this on your own time. Not on, not on my show. Not, not on your show. Okay. Not, not today. Not today. Um... <laughs> no. But yeah, we are on the final one, which is Pennywise. Okay, so I think obviously I, well, Bray would make the most sense. Yeah, because like the, the fiend, the the toying with people, the childlike yeah, yeah. essence of Pennywise. Exactly. I mean, they're a joke, but not all right. Not. <laughs> All right, look at that. We got a little tiny horror list created. Carrion Cross, because he's a fucking clown. I know, Jesus. You don't like Carrion Cross. It's okay. Eater of World. Yes. Pennywise is very similar to that. It's, it all makes sense. Again, I'm not doing it justice. You need to watch Matt and Will talk about it. Uh, I don't know how long ago it was. But it's, like, Horror Movies and Waffles is the name of it, if you just go look it up, because that that's where they, like, dive deep into this, so I'm not doing it justice. But we have a nice little... Oh, wait, so then we... Well, I guess, technically, could we? We have The Fiend as Freddy still, but we have Bray as Pennywise. Does that... I mean, we make the rules, so if you want it to happen. I mean... I don't know who else, though. Maybe, or maybe we could do, like... Fiend slash Bray as Pennywise, and then Alexa will just give Freddy Krueger. Do wrestlers as Halloween candy next week? No! <laughs> we already did the candy thing. <laughs> That's not happening again for a while. CM Punk would be a circus peanut. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean... The that would be kind of fun, but it, it, it gets... People also give regular candy as candy. The only Halloween candy really is, like, candy corn and maybe candy apples. He said, but not Halloween candy with an angry face. All right, take it easy. <laughs> um, okay, all right. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. Perhaps. Um, no, I kind of like the idea of keeping Bray and the Fiend separate. Okay. Okay. Because, I mean, technically, technically they are. I know, Tec obviously, it's the same. Technically Tec speaking. And, and Kayfabe Land, they're a different person. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, but, yes, as our little tiny list, we have Jason. Uh, Kane as Jason. Fiend as Freddy. Seth as Chucky. Candace as <laughs> Tiffany, Taker as Michael, and Bray as Pennywise. <clears throat> and that is the show this week. Wow, that was definitely one of our shorter you ones. You know, CM Punk would actually be black licorice because you have to be kind of somewhat fucking ridiculous to actually like that. Let's call it a day <laughs> Is she is she still talking <laughs> about this? Can y'all believe? Let it go. <laughs> Matt's still going, so Matt's you're, still going. You're I'm not gonna say both so ridiculous. <laughs> He's just saying can you give out a toothbrush? 
No, Britt Baker would, because she's the dentist. They can both get... I need a show of just Matt and Savannah arguing. I mean, you kind of got a little bit of that on Smackin' It Raw, which... Smack... You go watch it on Smackin' It Raw. Yeah, which, go. Savannah... Go do it. Plug your shit, tell oh, them where yeah. they can find there you, you go. what you got going on. <laughs> if if you want to find me on... Ins- or if you want to find me, you can find me on Instagram at... um. The cleaner. Oh my god. Wow, he, he was quiet you can for so Instagram. long. I just have to point that out. He's been quiet <laughs> for so long, and that's what the judge. I know, Reek, That was Perfect. from Reek, who's been quiet. Yeah. Good job, Reek. Anyways, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Y2Garcia underscore. If there's no underscore, it's not me. What I have going on. Um, you know how you guys, when I mentioned how I would want to do an AW like show, kind of like New Japan Takeover, but for AW, because I think it can be, I can like have more people on because you know more people watch aw than new japan it's gonna be a little bit easier to do with other people than it's not daniel well the ball's rolling officially we're gonna try and have the first episode out by sunday which is actually the official three-year anniversary of aw or dynamite according to google it's at october 2nd so i'm just following it off that but yeah i'm gonna daniel's gonna be there of course and we're gonna try and have someone else on there i'm trying to coordinate right now I'm very excited because, again, it's something like how I mentioned on our one-year show. It's something I wanted to do. Um, New Japan Takeover will also be coming back. I believe we're going to try and film film an episode not next week because – or maybe next week if we can do it late, but next week. And so I'm going to try and make myself a little more busy with that. And also, we mentioned it a couple times. This past weekend on Friday, I was on Smackin' It Raw for the second time. It was so much fun. I really gotta say, Katie, I can honestly see why you are always willing to go on and place events or even if Vince is there anyway. I can see why you like to go on. Despite the arguing, even then, it's nothing deep. It's nothing personal. It's nothing like cutthroat with me and Matt. It was still really fun to go and do fun to talk about like you know just have it was a good time to keep it short i loved going on there and again if if matt allows or if i'm ever asked to come back definitely i will definitely come back anytime so much fun so So... yeah i I take take it all back okay i'll take it i take it i take it all back too okay for now now. yeah truth for now but in spooky season it's gonna probably get a little bloody all right all right but yeah but that being said, yeah, that's where you can. That's what I've been up to, and that's what I have going on in the near future. So, yeah, you should check that out. There we go. Savannah's putting out content. Well, Yay! Savannah's making the content, and I'm putting it out. <laughs> but yeah, Katie's putting it out on behalf of me. But uh, yes. yeah, I'm making new content. Yes, Savannah's cooking up some content. Um, mm-hmm. The logo's really cool. I haven't heard the music yet. But... Justin's still working on it. Okay, so big shout out. I know Katie's gonna give him a shout out, but I'll say I'll we'll give him double shout out. Big I'll shout out to Justin because of course he's the one we can go to for music. Of course he was the one I went to right away when I wanted to start the show, and I told him what I was looking for, and he said he'll make something work. So props to you, Justin. You're the fucking man. That's of course heel tactics underscore aka Jayland Justin. Yes. Whatever yes. you want to call him. Yes. That man's. He God goes by movies. many names. Yes, he is. And we are so grateful to have him be the mastermind behind the music for Sheely. Okay, all, like all without him, music. I don't know. Literally every single show just it's, it's did it. All of Sheely, um Smagging It Raw, Return to Wrestling, I, Young King's Wrestling, Get Show. Uh I think he yeah, just did the new one for Bob and Share Shots. Justin is the man. He's the the, the myth, musical mastermind the is his official, yeah. The Justin is our is official music it. producer. Facts. Basic, basically, yeah, our collective yeah. producer for the music. Big shout out to Big Justin. Shout out to Justin. Yes. I hope he hears this and yeah. cringes. <laughs> <laughs> the the calf, yeah, the calf music producer. Fuck yeah, what a guy. Um, now obviously you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Russell thirteen. Link stream about to y'all think she lead showcase. Twitch.tv slash Sheely Showcase, typically Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, except next week we're going Wednesday night because Savannah's going on another trip. Yeah, y'all say I go on too many trips. Y'all, look at this. My, yeah. Um, well, actually, this was supposed to be in 2020, but shit happened and got postponed, so now it's finally gonna happen this year. 
Um, going to SoCal. I'm gonna go find the bus. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to um, a concert and we're gonna go to Disney. And we were, because my family's big Dodger, LA Dodgers fans, we were gonna go to a Dodgers game, except two problems. It's the postseason and apparently they played so well. I think it's like the wild card weekend or something. I'm not too into baseball, especially not the way I'm into football. But um, so apparently they did so good this season that they're not playing that weekend. They're going to, I think, start the next weekend. So, of course, with our luck, we're not going to go see the Dodgers. But it's okay. We're going go to go to Disney. The stadium. We're going to, yeah, and we're going to, yeah, and we're going to go to the concert. It's going to be so much fun. So, yeah. Um, but we leave Thursday, like, right around the time that we would be on for the show. So, so Wednesday it is. That is why it'll be Wednesday after Dynamite. <laughs> Um, yes, Jesus. Los Dodgers. That's how you say it. Los Dodgers. I. Okay. Uh, YouTube.com slash She Showcase, where you can watch the videos. I say watch them because they're way more entertaining. Um, yeah, Anchor Spotify. Get to see the earrings. Yeah, the earrings that hurt my ears and I already took them out. Uh, took them out as soon as I said the intro. Uh, Anchor Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, if you'd like to listen to the podcast. Uh, I was on the latest episode of Get Yo, the Get Yo podcast, with Juss and mm, Tiffany from Down for the Count, so that was really fun. We did, um, if wrestlers had beauty products. I gotta say, I'm oh I'm God. very proud of the two I thought of yesterday before the show. I'm very proud of the pitch I gave, or the pitches I gave. So, go check that out. I'm always on Smackin' It Raw, because I'm going to win the porno poppy race, oh. putting it in stone. I'm going to win. So I will be on every week. Unless I get benched again for no reason. But don't, I will be don't on. Don't let that happen, Katie. I, listen. I will be on. So you can always find me over there. They go live Friday nights. Um, midnight EST, 11 CST, 10 fucking, what are you, Mountain Time? <laughs> Everything it's MDT? Whatever the hell mountain time is, that's when they go live. <laughs> Yay! Um, and I, f- there'll be a new Inside the Mind of up on Monday. With who? I don't know. It'll be a surprise because I don't have it figured out yet. <laughs> but I have the Halloween one done, so. Sometimes that's what matters. Priorities, Katie. Listen, I'm trying here. Really trying. <laughs> uh, and. I don't know when, but maybe in the next few weeks I'll finally do a story time with Katie Kinsey baby. Okay. With, with the very long, it's time to go inside Savannah's mind. Well, now we gotta wait until she's back from vacation. Yeah, it's yes, gonna be next week. We will do it after Savannah gets back. We'll find a day and we'll do it. It'll be up I don't know when we'll do I don't know when we'll, we'll do yours. We'll do yours soon. Black Friday. Jesus. All right. Um, and then obviously go hit up our merch on sheelyshowcase.com or the link tree do it. or the Teespring Just do it. in uh my bio. Jesus Christ. Um, it's a long. It's been a long day. Yeah. You have a person to do. She's gonna be good. We no. I already talked. Kate's. I have Kate's t- t- figured out. I know. I know. I know. Uh, God. <laughs> I can't focus. God, Jesus. Merch. Merch. Come on, merch. merch. Pro wrestling. Pro choice. We have a shirt. Matt has the same shirt up on his team spring. All the proceeds are going to Planned Parenthood from us. Women's Reproductive Rights Assistance Project for Creation World. What's up, Heal Tactics? You missed all your praise. Don't worry, you can listen back and enjoy it all um <laughs> and then we also have yeah. like the logo stuff on there and we're still trying to think of new ideas for merch uh i have a few ideas but i just have to like figure out how to execute them so we'll get there um but yeah you know what that's that's all i got i i the train's off the fucking tracks now i don't know what i'm go. talking about anymore it's yeah i mean we got through most of it it's, it's all there somewhere. It's the same spiel yeah. every day. When in doubt, just go to the lane tree in Katie's bio. Or, yeah. You should try to find a way to get inside the mind of Goldberg. That is so rude and disrespectful, sir. 
we're gonna have words after this um thank you guys again i guess for watching listening being here live all that fun stuff uh we'll catch you next week on wednesday, wednesday. night wednesday night until then bye bye